Good morning, all of you. Welcome to KGP Online Classes and welcome back to English Grammars class. In our previous video, we studied about singular nouns and plural nouns, and we learned a few rules to uh, to change the nouns from singular to plural. Okay, so let's recall a little uh, little from our previous class. What do we mean by singular nouns? The names or the words that names any person, any place, any animal or anything that is one in number. Okay, we call that as singular noun. Like a pencil, a pen, a boy, an eraser, an elephant, a monkey. All these are called as singular nouns. But when we talk about any person, any place, any animal or anything that is two or more than two, okay? When something is many in number, we call it as plural nouns, okay? Also, we learned three rules to change nouns from singular to plural. Uh, we learned by adding S, we can change words. Uh, words like book add s it will take uh, ta uh, it will be changed into books second rule we learned that the words that are ending with letters like sh ch s x or z we add es after them and the words that end with o all we uh, we add es after them as well the third rule was if the um, if the word is ending with f e or f v e d v e s after them to change from singular to plural okay now in this video we are going to move further and let's have a look at rule number 4 what does rule number 4 says if the noun is ending with y and there is a consonant before y add ies to the noun to make it plural okay now let's look this rule number four says that if a word is ending and uh, the letters are a consonant plus y okay so if the word is ending with a consonant and y we will add IES. Let's have a look at these words. Baby. B-A-B-Y. So, B is a consonant. So, to change this word from singular to plural, we will add IES. Uh, and we will remove by, uh, Y. B-A-B-I-E-S. Babies. Okay. C-I-T-Y. T is again a consonant and it is ending with Y. So, we will remove by Y and we will change I E uh, add I E S after it. It will turn into cities. Same, is, uh, same with story. R is a consonant and ending with Y. We will remove Y and add I E S. It will turn into stories. Fairy. Again ending with consonant and Y. Okay. Always remember this that the words that are ending with a consonant and a Y. We add IES after them and remove the Y. It will turn into fairies, armies, cherry to cherries, library to libraries. Okay. We have to remember this. Now let's move further. Okay, so now let's look at rule number 5. In rule number 5, we'll see the nouns, the words that are ending with a vowel plus Y. With the letters that are ending with a vowel plus Y. Okay, if the noun is ending with Y and there is a vowel before Y, add S to the noun to make it plural. Okay? Now, what are vowels? A, E 
I O U. All these letters are vowels. They represent vowels. Okay. So let's have a look here. Boy. B O Y. O is what? A vowel letter. O Y. So we'll simply add S after the uh, noun and make it plural. We will not remove the Y. He. E is again a vowel. Ending with Y. We won't remove the Y. Simply add S. Toy. O is again a vowel. Ending with Y. We'll simply add S. So what you have to keep in your mind is that whenever you see a word that is ending with Y, always look a letter that is before Y. Okay? If it is a consonant, if it is a consonant, we will remove the Y and simply end IES after the noun to make it plural. But if the noun is ending with a vowel and Y, vowel plus Y, vowel A, E, I, O, U. All these sounds, all these letters are the vowels. Like monkey, E, holiday, A, Y, valley, E, Y, J, A, Y. So all these words are ending with a vowel and Y. So we will not remove Y and simply add S to make them uh, plural from singular. Okay. Now let's move to another uh, thing. Okay. Now in this topic, what we are uh, going to do is we are going to learn some nouns, some nouns that do not follow any rules. Okay. These are sometimes called as irregular plurals. They do not follow any rule that we have just studied. In this, now let's look at these and you will understand more. Yeah, next. Okay, so the plural is sometimes formed by simply changing the vowel sound of the singulars okay in this these are the few words that you have to remember you have to memorize them because they do not follow any rule of the formation of plurals that we have just studied studied they are little different okay so in this what happened is uh, uh, simply the vowel sounds are the vowel sounds letters are changed okay Truth, teeth. In this only vowel sound, these letters are changing. Men, men. Mouse, mice. This is again a little different. Foot, feet. Ox, oxen. Women, women. Child, children. So these are called as irregular plurals because they do not follow any rule. And sometimes, sometimes in these Wall sounds change and sometimes they do not follow any rule. Not even this rule. That is why they are called as different plurals. Okay. So in this video we have learned three more rules. And we have learned about irregular plurals also. If you have any problem please watch the videos carefully first of all. And you can talk to me. Uh, take care and thank you.